So today I'm talking with Olivia Silva. She is from Portugal and she's a bone therapist. She's been um, a bone therapist since 2015 and she's been helping people um, with things like stress, anxiety. She's been helping people to release pain. Um, she's also got um, a background in traditional Chinese medicine. She's a reflexologist. Um, she's a Reiki practitioner and she's very much into yoga and and meditation as well. Welcome to the show, Olivia. Thank you for coming on. Hi, Amanda. Thank you for inviting me. So, um, tell me all about how did you get into? Uh, how did you become a Bowen practitioner? Yeah, it's a very interesting story because you know I've been a meditator for quite a few years, and um, and being in the background of Chinese medicine and different healing therapies, I, I heard about the Bowen technique, but I didn't really pay attention to it. Because there's so many different techniques and uh, it was a boyfriend at the time he just told me about about the bow and technique and i thought oh, all right then there's so many i didn't really pay attention but uh, one day i was just meditating and it was such a strong inspiration and almost like an order okay go and take this training uh, it felt like a really strong thing that i needed to do and i don't have that very often in meditations because i, I meditate in a in a very outside of of uh, creation energy but it still happened and then i didn't have the money back then to pay for it um because it's quite an expensive training and someone just gave it to me gave someone gave me half of the price of the course oh wow and and so i just went and started training and it was love at first such you know i didn't really know much about it i knew it would help the body to heal itself Mm -hmm. uh, and that it was uninvasive, but I didn't really know exactly. And, and so we were practicing on each other on the training. And, um, and I remember that my colleague, she didn't know what she was doing. She, has, she was just learning as I was. And so she did the first two, two movements in my lower back. And it was such a powerful experience, honestly. It was just love at first touch, honestly. She, she touched those places, which we call them the, on, the button on of the computer. <laughs> and, uh, and and I just felt this expansion and like everything just got open and it started to heal and release and in the emotional level and it, I felt it physically like it was just relaxation happening it was really powerful really powerful just two points from someone that had no idea what they were doing they're just practicing the movements on my back and it felt really powerful so since then I've just been doing bowing every day obviously not at the moment because we, we can't I still can do it at home though with my boyfriend but <laughs> at the moment uh we can't really do it but it's just I just love it I just love it it is fantastic I, I, I'm just gonna move my speakers a wee bit because I think they're picking up a bit of uh a bit of strange sound. So I had a little experience of uh, Bowen myself. Um, <clears throat> it was during the time when I was actually training as a clinical hypnotherapist. Um, so quite a few years ago now. And uh, one of my colleagues um, on the course was a Bowen uh, therapist. And I was having this real just dull ache in my back that was just constant um, and it was a particularly bad day and I could feel not only dull ache but spasm as well um, and I'm obviously a big massage fan and I'd had lots and lots and lots of massage and it massage definitely helped relieve it um, but it just kept coming back and um, she just did two or three very simple maneuvers. Um, she literally, I think it was with her thumb, and she just rolled her thumb over some of the trigger points, the acupressure points, or on my back. And within 20 minutes, the pain had completely gone. Um, and I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is amazing. This is so powerful. Such a simple technique. I didn't have to take my clothes off. I didn't have to do anything. Just a few simple maneuvers. And I had such, such, um, <clears throat> such a powerful uh, reaction. And it meant that for the rest of my weekend of training, I wasn't being constantly bothered by this dull ache in my lower back. Um, uh, where, does, where does Bowen come from? What's its origins? Yeah, so it started in the, in the 70s and 80s with a gentleman called Thomas Bowen. So he was really a curious person. So he was not, you know, he was reading a lot. He was... He was self-taught, but he had quite a few mentors in the field of osteopathy, uh, Japanese acupuncture, uh, Japanese acupressure, and um, 
chiropractic. So he had different men mentors. So he learned from all of them and he was taking notes from all of them. And he kind of put it all together using his own intuition. Wow. So, so as you noticed yourself, possibly, I don't know what points my colleague practice on your back, but uh, most of the points in the back and in the different parts of the, of the body, most of the Bowen points, they are on meridian uh, lines and on meridian points mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they have obviously mm -hmm. chinese medicine and and the meridian system um effects but they also effect, have the effects on the nervous system because all the you know all the muscles they are connected with the, with the nerves so mm -hmm. it has the effect on both on the energetic level that then affects the organs and then also on the muscles which then affects the nervous system which then affects the organs also so it's really really interesting how it works, how it all works. Mm. So in, in, in traditional Chinese medicine, we see like the meridian channels, if you like, a bit like rivers or streams of energy that flow around the body. And when we have pain or discomfort, it's because those energy channels have become blocked in some way and that energy is not flowing smoothly. Um, and that is, that is very much how, how I felt my back was, like all the energy was just blocked and stuck. Um, um, and just with those few simple movements, um, I could feel it felt the, my back felt warmer uh, and definitely more, more, more free flowing. It was fantastic. Um, so who, who, who can benefit? Obviously, pain sufferers really benefit. But who can benefit uh, from Bowen? And what kind of conditions do you think would be the best, if you like, for, for treatment with Bowen? <clears throat> well, when it's something acute, it usually disappears faster. So if you would have, let's say you start to feel pain today, hopefully not, but imagine. And then tomorrow, uh, if you'd come for a treatment, very likely that pain would just completely disappear, wouldn't come back ever. Now, if you've been 10 years with a problem, mm -hmm. it might take you a bit longer, but it, unless it's, unless it's, um, one of those considered chronic and there's no way to recover from it you know if it's something more structural like joints or something like that mm -hmm. we can't really we can't really get rid of it completely but we can calm down the effect so it's very good for anyone with any kinds of pains um obviously if someone broke something it doesn't really help with that it can help with the recovery after they've already had the uh the conventional medicine, putting the bone together and <laughs> and helping the structure to get bonded again. But uh, after that, then it can help with the recovery and it can help with the recovery from the trauma. If it was an impact or some fall, usually if we don't think, oh, if we don't think that there was a trauma, usually the body gets a bit of a trauma. Mm. And, and, and as a hypnotherapist, I'm sure you work with, you know, a lot of these kinds of things that people don't even know that they have a trauma there. That's that is right. great certain reactions on the similar situations, uh, predisposed reactions because of the trauma that is there. So it helps a lot to release different traumas. So for example, uh, a friend of mine, he had um, a bike fall <clears throat> recently. Oh, actually it was a car, car accident, very mild car accident, but he had had a bunch of bike falls in the past and, and bike accidents when cars were again, came against him and things like that. And so recently when he had this, mild car accident he could feel his body was in a bit of a state of stress so i said look just come for a treatment so that this trauma doesn't somatize in other kinds of physical problems and and so he came for the session and that was it it was gone he just didn't feel that agitation that anxiety that nervousness that kind of fear every time you'd get in the car he didn't mm. get any, or any of that so the body released it he was just relaxing in the in the in the massage table. He didn't. He was not aware of anything, and he just was fine after that. So it's quite mild, and yeah. So it helps to release pain, anxiety, depression, different inflammatory conditions because we have so much inflammation going on these days with our diet, with the environment, uh, with the stress, and so it helps to re reduce and and calm down inflammation because many inflammatory diseases they can't we can't really say that it helps them fully but it helps to people to maintain a a, a better um well-being or a better life you know with less mm -hmm. pain with uh, more energy and more happiness and so and and babies you know newborn babies as soon as they're born if they receive balm and they'll be really happy babies <laughs> <laughs> i would imagine it's quite good for things like colic 
um, and digestive yeah. problems with babies. Yes, yes. And I was actually teaching it recently to showing it recently to my um, my boyfriend's sister. She had a baby. And he was like, well, you, know, you know, when they, you know, when they just had the milk and they're like, oh, you know, jittery and quite uncomfortable. And I said, all right, let me just do it to him, to his belly now and, and show you how it is. And he was just like, he was grabbing my hand because it's funny because he didn't see, he didn't, he was not looking at my hand, but he was just grabbing my hand. And then he was just like smiling after that. He was like really happy. He knew it was good for him. And, and then I showed her how to do it because obviously being a mom, she'll be with him a lot and she could then do it to him because they live down south. So I wouldn't be able to be so close, but it's a really simple, there are so simple movements, you know, that in this case, even a mom can just learn it and do it with the kids. I love it. With the babies. I love it. All right, I'm just going to pause because there's someone at my door. Hang on one second. There we go. That was my fruit and veg delivery coming today. So <laughs> we're back on again. All right, so sorry, you were saying about how it's really simple and how you can use it with babies and how it can help with things like colic. It can help with things like digestive problems. And it can help with things like stress, anxiety. Are there any kind of self-care things that we can do that are kind of bone related that would help us? Because we're all living in very transformational times, aren't we? And transformation can be quite a challenging process for people. Are there any kind of self-care moves with Bowen that you can recommend that we can use on ourselves? Or mm. do you really need to be lying on your couch? <laughs> Unfortunately, that there's just few specific movements. There's four specific movements I could show, but for women only. And I wouldn't really want to do it here in the video because it's connect. It's more like for prevent, helping to prevent breast um, balances. Okay. Uh, but um, apart from that, there's an, unfortunately there's not not something I could just tell you. Okay, you do that because there's some specific emergency points but they are just in between the omoplats so it's really hard for you to do it on yourself it has to be someone else to do it i can't even do it to myself so it's so unfortunately so this is something that you would really need to see a bone therapist for and and sadly yeah. none of us are able to do any body work at the moment but when you normally work where do you normally work from well, when I actually can see people, I see them in Chapel Allerton. Uh, in, there's two specific venues, one more close to the center of Chapel Allerton and then another one closer to just going a bit more down, close to Park, Porter Newton Park. So it's still in Chapel Allerton area in Leeds. Uh, I, I'm just speaking like, I'm just talking to you like you live in Leeds and you know exactly where I'm talking about. <laughs> I do know where it is, so it's all right. Yeah. I do know Chapel Allerton. It's in Leeds, in Leeds. Leeds, North England. So in, in the north of England, in Leeds, yeah. um, that's great. So I know that obviously you're not practicing at the moment, but I know that you are actually continuing to support your clients and, and new clients as well with their, their health and well-being. Um, tell me a little bit about your uh, vitality screening and gut reset program. I have to say I'm super excited about this because um, I'm actually joining Olivia's team and I'm currently okay. learning all about this uh, because because I think it's absolutely fantastic and it's such a simple way to take care of your health, your body and your immune system. But I'll, I'll shut up and I'll let you tell you tell everybody about it. <laughs> um, so we, you asked also about vitality screening and I can just talk about that really briefly because obviously at the moment I can't do screening either because it has to be face to face. I need to take a bit of blood and I need to check the, the, you know, check the pH of the saliva and check the urine and all of that. So I can't do any of that at the moment apart, you know, to my boyfriend is the lucky one. He gets all of the things. <laughs> He's um, so healthy. <laughs> yeah, well, it should be at least because he has all the tools here. Um, so and the vitality screening pretty much gives you overall picture of your lifestyle and your well-being so we check blood pressure we check um you know different parameters bmr uh, sorry bmi and ph of the saliva and, and the glucose levels and hemoglobin levels and and uh, uric acid levels cholesterol levels so it's many different there are 40 parameters that we test all together that give us an overall being a picture of the fitness levels, really like the, the lifestyle levels. And, uh, and these are tests that your your regular GP would be able to do, but perhaps doesn't doesn't do because they have 
two and a half minutes per per meeting and uh, I, I don't know how they managed to do it get the vital get that vital information in those two and a half minutes um, they, it just seems like they're just fighting fires whereas if you want to have a, a real impact and a real understanding of where you are with your health right now this kind of vitality screening is is so beneficial isn't it yes so this system was developed by a gentleman called dr john ogden which is is having 20 years of of naturopathy and and chinese medicine and he just by practice and by experience he just connected all the different parameters and they give you quite an overall picture of how you are and the interesting bit about this system is that, you know, you could go online on Amazon and just buy all the kit yourself, but um, you'd have to know which ones are the right parameters between which number and which number are you healthy or are you within the normal pattern, uh, parameters or within how is it high or low and what to do about it. And, um, and so what this system does, it gives you all of that because we have a program that has all of the all of that introduced and then just gives you the report of of what's going on and you can see what needs a bit more improvement what is completely fine and and then we give you little suggestions can just be a breathing technique to help you with your peak flow or to help with your with the more oxygenation in your body so very simple things we can help then after we get the result we can give you some little suggestions uh, which which were developed by by dr john ogden so i feel really blessed i can do this because Sometimes people are just tired and they might just have lower, low hemoglobin levels. That's it. It might not be anything very complicated or they might have just a disturbed digestion and then they can't really break down certain, certain foods. And so it just can be something really simple. Mm. I know a lot of people um, can, can feel just tired all the time and then they can feel that this is perhaps depression we tend to jump and label things don't we oh yeah. I felt tired for about six months I can't seem to get my energy up perhaps this is depression and then you know maybe go to the doctor and get some 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 antidepressants to kind of help you feel better but the reality is that you're, you're just a bit a bit iron deficient um, and, and your hemoglobin level levels are a bit low or like yeah. you're saying perhaps there's something not not quite right with your digestive system and actually you just need to add Add in a vitamin or a mineral and this vitality screening is going to really give you that specific advice it, helps you. it doesn't really tell you which minerals and vitamins are low i can okay. i can recommend specific tests for that i can actually uh, there's a company that does that so we can just send the hair and they do the tests but um I, you it's funny that you um, i'm happy you mentioned about depression because there's more and more studies actually connecting the gut health with mm. depression and I just saw the other day an article in a magazine called uh, Natural Medicines, I think. And it was, it was a, a study made by doctors all about that. Uh, they discover when you're lacking specific, they've discovered that everyone with depression has two specific bacteria, st bacteria types that they are lacking in their gut. And I can actually send you that article afterwards. I, I mean, um, I, have yeah. some I can send you and, you and it has there. Uh, from where the uh, the article is from but it's just interesting that there's more and more connections between the gut and now we can go and start speak about the gut health um there's more and more connections uh, studies connecting the gut with overall health with all the other systems like this mm -hmm. organ which is such a main central organ we've been neglecting it for so many years mm -hmm. they're starting to discover that it's quite a main central organ and even the structure of the gut itself sim is similar with the structure of the brain, you know, anatomically. And, and they've discovered that the nervous system around the gut is so complex. The only system as complex as that in the body is the brain. So it's like we literally have a second brain in our gut, which then if it's balanced, our, you know, brain will be balanced. If it's unbalanced, it will, it will be unbalanced through, through the, um, connect axis uh, the, of the nervous vague, uh, vagus nerve, sorry, uh, brain, brain gut connection. So it's really, really interesting. It's just, you know, it's quite a new thing. They are just now starting to go into it. I mean, now maybe a few years, but still it's quite new. And, and it's really exciting to just finally connect. All right, whatever you put in your mouth, that is going to be influencing your gut, either in a good way or in a bad way. Mm. 
And, and then, this, is what, um, this is what I've been learning uh, with you uh, just recently about how important it is to have that have good gut health. Um, and, and it's surprising, isn't it? But we do have, um, if, if we have the same kind of neuro pathways and connections in our gut, um, it, that if, if you, if you want to make a comparison, it's about the same size as a cat's brain. So we have basically a cat's brain <laughs> in our in our gut um, and it's it's incredible how much the different bacterias that microbiome isn't it it's called in the gut yeah, um, if that's out of balance how that can cause us to feel we have no energy it can cause us to have disturbed sleep patterns and it can cause us to to feel really grotty tell tell me a little bit more about that um that magical microbiome that we have in our in our gut good so so microbiome is the is the word used to describe all the um micro environment in our in our body it's bacteria. So we're talking bacteria aren't bacteria, we bacteria virus parasites uh fungi so all of those all of the, that biome which is life all of that micro life and and if we they are starting to discover now that actually human wise human wise we are just 10 percent human cells and the other 90 percent it's this kind of fungus bacteria that's incredible i'm only 10 percent human <laughs> you know what that means? You know what means? it's just bacteria and you know what that means it's amazing it means that it means that per one cell for per one human cell we have nine bacteria so incredible. it's just like because they are so small we can't you know we can't really see that because they are so small but in terms of amount of quantity and percentage we are just 10 percent human cells and the other 90 percent it's the microbiome which means if the microbiome is happy we will be happy if the microbiome is not happy we will not be happy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and and also in terms of food cravings for example that's a very interesting one uh if if we have more good bacteria they will they will crave broccoli and fresh vegetables and fruits and if we have predominant bad bacteria they'll want the scones and the and the you know the sweet sweet cakes and the the, the chips and all those things like sugary and processed things because that's what feeds them I tell you what, there must be a lot of people out there who've got cravings going on right now because I went to my local supermarket last week. Uh, it was my my one trip out of the house last week and um, all the fruit and vegetable aisles were very well stocked. But when it came to the chocolate and the crisps and the sweet aisles, it, there was nothing there. <laughs> and then I was like, whoa, this is a real reflection of how, how people eat now. We do eat yeah. a lot of crisps. We eat a lot of sweets. We eat a lot of cakes and biscuits. And particularly when we're feeling anxious or stressed, we do tend to go to uh, these, these unhealthy, high sugar, high, very processed foods, don't we? And, and do you think that yeah. that's because because our microbiome is is out of balance it's not working properly it is definitely because the good bacteria they don't feed themselves from sugar and carbs they feed themselves from fiber and from uh, good good things like good fibers like inulin and things like that so they which is which is still sweet but mm -hmm. they don't if we eat anything with sugar it actually feeds the, the bad ones and then they compete for the environment and then the bad ones become predominant. But the bad ones, I mean, the ones that, when I say the bad ones, I mean the ones that produce a lot of endotoxins that go into the rest of the body and produce inflammation. So that's what I mean, the bad ones. Because the good ones, they just help us to produce hormones and, and good chemicals for our body and they don't produce endotoxins that create inflammation. So the bad ones, they do that. And that's why we call them the bad ones. So you just said endotoxins. What, what yeah. are endotoxins? So the, bacteri the bacteria, they have their own processes, right? They eat things and they get rid of things like, you know, like our cells do. We get the oxygenation and we have, to we release things from this, that process and we, the food, the, the cells eat and they, they, uh, 
get rid of the things that they the products we're talking poo and we back bacteria poo and we is that what we're talking about <laughs> yeah so endotoxins is Ooh. the products resulted from the bacteria being there the bacteria being there alive and sometimes they can produce these endotoxins to get rid of the other bacteria so it's just like go away as a kind of an attack kind of thing so and those endotoxins is if the bad bacteria are predominant we're going to have loads of them and they and when they get out of the bo of the um if they manage to get out through the the gut cell uh, gut wall into the blood which it happens with, quite a, with a lot of people, even if we have just mild leaky gut, um, then it just goes into all parts of the body. So through the bloodstream, it can go into the joints, into other organs and just create inflammation wow. and headache. It can create all kinds of different things. So the more inflammation we have, the more pain we will have. Yes, absolutely. And and I was reading the other day that the, the lining of the gut, that gut lining is, is just one cell thick. Yeah. It's not it's a really great thick. barrier, is it? It's, it's, it's just one cell, but that one cell has, it's a very, has a very specific, as, as you know, that has a very specific anatomy to it. It has like very, very many, many, many microvilla, or how you say it in English properly, that helps to absorb all the different nutrients. So if you would stretch all of those little microvilla, it would be many, 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 many meters. Okay. So it's, it's quite specialized. That makes me feel oh. better. <laughs> very, very specialized. It's really amazing. Okay. And also those microvilla keep good bacteria there that help to, to digest the, the food, different parts of the food, and it helps to produce different hormones, different chemicals that are good for us. But then the cells, and I think you saw that in that gut talk we had, that you know, the, 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 the one cell structure is, it needs to be healthy so that it doesn't start to open up and to leak uh, the debris and leftovers of, of rest of the composed food and things like that into the bloodstream. So we don't want that. No, we don't. What are the sort of signs and symptoms of leaky gut? Well, how would we know if, um, if that lining was damaged in any way, shape or form? Yes. Well, so as you know, like I'm, I'm not a doctor, so I, I don't have the overall picture but many times um leaky gut manifests as um skin reactions like e eczema and could be also psoriasis but you know different kinds of skin reactions that can be one of the reactions uh but like i said i'm, I'm not a doctor and even as i help people with the, the gut health and with the screening i'm doing it as a technician so if there's something uh more serious that I can see that the person might be manifesting. I'll obviously send them to to a specialist and to a doctor to investigate okay. further. Uh, and uh, but with this system that we use, with this gut health, uh, we call it the. There's a specific program that is a 21 days gut reset program. And during this gut reset, we help the lining of the gut. I mean, all these all these products are actually tested and retested and made in laboratories, and so they help. A, they help to reduce the bad bacteria, they help to rebuild the inside of the, li uh, the, the lining of the gut and then to rebuild with the good bacteria. So it's actually a quite um, special program. I find it myself, I've, having gone through it myself too and seen the results that other people have, it's, it's quite amazing. The results have been absolutely mind-blowing. I mean, I can't believe the benefits that your clients have been having. It's very, very exciting yeah. to be able to support people's health in such a, a dynamic way. But what might cause that lining? That What might cause leaky guts? What are the sort of things that we need to kind of look out for or be aware of that might cause, obviously, lots of processed foods and sugar, but what sugar. other things may cause leaky gut? I don't really know, to be honest. I don't really know other things. As long as we have a lot of bad bacteria, they will they will weaken the wall of the gut. That's all I know. The more bad bacteria we have, the more likely we, we, we are to have a leaky gut. I was looking at um, some information myself. I, I asked you this because I... I was kind of looking at some information the other day and they were saying that anyone who's taken antibiotics in the past sort of three years, um, anyone who has high sugar cravings, anyone who's got kind of skin problems, anyone with low energy, it could point to, uh, could suggest that they have 
some kind of a leaky gut. That's a lot of people out there, isn't it? With uh, with uh, potentially who have leaky gut. So twenty one days. So what do you have to do for twenty one days? What's the yeah. program? So the beautiful thing about all these programs we might speak about today or not, it's that it's all food, fruits and vegetables. It's only fruits and vegetables developed, um, okay, combined in a way by doctors and scientists to help the body to work in a synergetic way. So that it's a bit like Bowen, but for the but for the gut. So it's like we give the body what the body needs, and the body finds a balance. So it's the same thing with the Bowen. I give the body the movements that the body needs and I release the muscles that are tight and the body finds the balance by itself. So it's the same principle, but with nutrition in this case. So it's so just activate in a physician. I love that. Idea. Exactly. So it's just, <laughs> it's just, it's just fruits and vegetables combined in a way that give us the, all the nutrition we need to work and function properly and in a healthy way. So that's the principle of it. But then the 21 days of the gut health, which we call it Purify, it's, it's a quite an interesting program. So it, we're cutting all the carbs, um, we're cutting sugar, we're going to cut coffee, we're going to cut different kinds of things during 21 days. And as we do that, we follow a specific program that goes into, it has a stage of preparation and then it has a stage that is a bit more intense that we get supplements that do detox so get rid of those endotoxins and get rid of toxins from everywhere in the body get rid of heavy metals which we also know that is not good you know the heavy metal the more heavy metals we have the more radiation we're going to attract in our being and the more we can feed viruses because the viruses feed from um, as far as i know they feed from from heavy metals and, and so we're going to get rid of that and at the same time as we get rid of those those things we nourish the body with very good nutrition with all the minerals vitamins protein all of that uh, vegan all of that vegan source which is great and then we have a third phase so it has three stages the program and the third stage is when we rebuild the new you so we yeah there's already a few products that are already finished during the middle phase but it's just amazing the results that people report like things like my for example i had this one lady she's 73 she had uh, she was diagnosed with mild Crohn's disease and I give her, I made bound with her for quite a while and it helped in a, quite a lot, quite an intense anxiety, quite a, quite a heavy anxiety. Mm. So she got better, you know, she got better with the Bowen, but we got to a point and I said, look lady, I don't want to say her name now. <laughs> <laughs> I did call her by her name, but I don't want to say her name. Um, we, we helped you a lot. Now, I feel that the next stage for you would be to do the gut health because that will really help with your anxiety and it will help you to reduce a bit of weight because she had a bit too much weight and her knees were hurting her. Uh, mm-hmm. And also, it will help you with your Crohn's disease. So she went through the program with 73. She did it all like by the book. She had some help with the, with the lady that did the program also close to her. And, and after that, she was not anxious anymore. She was just relaxed. She was feeling happy. She had more energy. She felt motivation to go to the to the to swim every day or or almost every day. And uh, the Crohn's disease was completely. She didn't have any more symptoms or, or like she would still have it. And she's seventy three, and she's still fine now. So she stopped the program. She still uh, continued to eat more healthily. Uh, obviously, introducing now the carbs now because the carbs stopping the carbs is just during the program and uh, and she's still fine now amazing and that was already quite a few months ago so it's it's really amazing it's really really amazing so it helps to uh bre- it like fixes what's broken cleanses the body of all of those horrible nasty toxins that are floating about and then helps to rebuild your system so it works effectively and it's just 21 days 21 days i, I screwed my face up a bit when you said no coffee but i think if it was just <laughs> 21 days i might manage <laughs> no most people they they go like oh i'm fine without the sugar but i can't you know, I think I'll struggle with my coffee i but love my it, coffee in the morning you know what? <laughs> 21 days and some of them after the 21 days they don't like coffee anymore really yes just because the gut uh, the microbiome changes and and it will change oh, the taste yeah. and 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 again you'll have cravings of of uh, i had this client he has um uh ankyl- ankylosis spondylitis i really struggled to say this word 
oculizing a spondylitis, something like that. It's a bit uh, like a, it's an arthritic condition, isn't it? And you can get yes. it in, in the spine and in, yeah. in the joints, yeah. So it's a cousin, I call it the cousin of the rheumatic arthritis. So it's also a chronic condition. And so he's been with this condition for 35 years. Wow. And he's craving, he was craving a lot of sweets and all that. After the program, he just doesn't want any sweets. He looks at them and he goes like, ooh. And apart from that, his inflammation reduced immensely. He barely has any pain. So Incredible. It, it, yeah, he is thinking to become a team member too because he's, he's seen how it helped his life and he's been 35 years on medication. He still takes some, some anti-inflammatories, but they reduced a lot. Wow. Uh, anyway, I could, I could stay here ages talking about, about results. <laughs> but, but things like that, you know, pain, pain reducing from things that you wouldn't really believe it could actually help. And it does help. Well, I found really fascinating um, from the from the lecture that I attended the other day was how how our body needs to protect us from these toxins, from these toxic chemicals that are floating around our bodies, and how, how it does that is it it locks those chemicals in our fat cells. So even if we're not eating loads of like foods that might cause us to gain weight if we're eating foods that are going to cause this microbiome to be out of balance or if we're eating a lot of foods um, that are, are high in those kind of sugars and processed chemicals and things our body is going to need to protect our essential organs it doesn't want all these chemicals going to our brain to our hearts to to those essential organs so it locks those chemicals in the fat cells yeah. um, and then when we crash diet those chemicals just flood around our system um, and, and I know um, a lot of people who crash diet feel absolutely shocking headaches nausea shaky quaky feelings um, in that first week when they're when they're changing when they're when they're starting a new a new kind of healthy eating pro, eat, healthy eating program they'll feel absolutely rubbish for that first week and I always wondered why um, and it makes perfect sense to me now that the the body is just being flooded with all of these chemicals and all the systems of your body are going to have to work really hard to filter yeah. out to flush out um these these chemicals um and this and is why why i was really interested in this but the truth is that the body can't really do that if it doesn't have the right nutrition or the right supplements to help the body to get rid of those toxins and heavy metals because uh, as soon as you stop start eating again the same diet the body will again very quickly even faster produce again the fat to get rid of all the toxins from the bloodstream again because they are protecting the kidneys the kidneys can't filter and get rid of all of that stuff it's too much so the body again whoop, really fast produces even more fat cells to get rid of all those toxins in the bloodstream so the best from what i've been studying the best suggestion would be if someone that, is wanting to do some dieting or even to lose a bit of weight in a healthy way would be to just take also those supplements to help to get rid of the heavy metals and the toxins so that after you when you go back to your normal eating or you'll you'll not go back to the eating as you were before because you won't want you just won't feel like you want it you just mm -hmm. things are going to change so, because the microbiome changes like i said the, ch the cravings are going to change you're going to be craving healthy things instead because it's the good ones now saying, hey, come on, give us some fiber and some fresh things and some nice fresh vegetables and green leaves. And uh, so um, then the fat cells won't be, I mean, you'll have also still, you'll still have some fat, but it will not be those extra fat cells that are keep holding the toxins in. So you'll be able to yeah. hold the weight that you lose, you know, to, to maintain it. So no more yo-yo dieting, no more up and down and up no. and down. It's just everything's coming back into balance. Um, exactly. Exactly. So we live in interesting times at the moment, don't we, where we're dealing with a, yes. quite a nasty virus that's uh, going about. Um, so I've been really interested in, in anything that's going to help me um, to, to boost my immune system. Yeah. Uh, I know that exercise, uh, having a positive mindset, getting out for some fresh air, all of those things are really important uh, to take care of your immune system. But um, I've been reading 
a little bit about um, the V3 um, products that you you um, that you are an advocate for. Um, tell us a little bit more about the V3. Yeah. Um, also, another thing uh, in a second. Also, another thing that is yeah, quite sure. like you said is you know also to keep an optimism because in this climate now a lot of people are afraid and the fear really really lowers the immune system it, it really weakens the immune system so the idea is to keep optimism in you know high to look for to try not to just look at all the news all the time because you're just going to feel more and more depressed and, and anxious and fearful to try to if you like to watch things on the tv just try to look for happy things or just relax things relax things or or things that may make you laugh because uh fear really lowers them and laughing boosts the immune system also laughter yeah. is the best medicine exactly <laughs> there you go. so now about the v3 v3 stands for vital tree and it's a combination of three of three different products that are, again they are made of fruits and vegetables only okay. um, it's really amazing which which have specific functions that they work all together again they work in synergy so we have uh, one specific product that is very very strong alkalizer that it, that has uh, chlorophyll and it has barley grass and alfalfa and and this specific one because it has the barley grass it helps also to remove heavy metals so will help to not feed any viruses anymore and then we have a very strong antioxidant because as you know when we remove antioxidants the body can work better and reduces inflammation and, and reduces pain and that one is is made of just berries like acai berry and mm -hmm. a bunch of other different berries that <clears throat> and 30 is like 30 milliliters of that combination of berries it, it's equivalent of three and a half kilos of berries imagine, imagine how many berries you'd have to eat in a day to uh, equalize that amount of antioxidants <laughs> and it tastes really nice also so um so it's really nice things and then one specific product is called pro rg9 plus and that's that's quite an amazing product it's one of the few as far as i know one of the few if not the only one um plant-based supplement that got patented usually to get a patent you need to it needs to be a chemical pharmaceutical uh, product and this one is a supplement just made of plants and fruits and it got a uh, patent so it's quite amazing and there's so many studies connecting this specific product with um, blood circulation the health of the heart uh, because it helps to improve the blood circulation and to un un unlock and unclog the, the vessels or the little vessels that mm. all the nutrition you'll give to the body uh, will reach the uh, and all the oxygenation will reach all the different parts of the body that needs to reach and the same thing with the opposite things as we release toxins they can be more easily removed from the body because the vessels are doing their function more more efficiently so it's really really a powerful product also and it tastes, tastes like berries also it's really nice so all of these three together uh, they help to boost the immune system and it's just uh, because obviously making you more alkaline and making you um, improve, boosting the antioxidants and also improving the blood circulation. So all of them together, they're like a big team. Sounds absolutely fantastic. So if you're interested in uh, the Gut Reset program or if you're, in, if you're curious about uh, finding more about how to support your immune system, please do uh, reach out and get in touch with either myself. You can, you can find, uh, I'm, I'll, it'll, it'll be on my website by the time this goes out, this information, and you can find that at www.amandajoy.co.uk or, or reach out and uh, get in touch with Olivia as well. Olivia, what's your website again? Uh, www.bowentechnicleads.co.uk so bowen is b-o-w-e-n i think you'll put it under i'll pop it on our uh, i'll pop yeah. it on our uh, information yeah. pages as well you can, um, you can just send an email if you want or, or, or with some question or something that you'd like you know obviously like i said i'm i'm not a i'm not a doctor but i can no. help you in the best of my ability and um it's olivia.bowenworks at gmail.com that's my email that's nice. if you like anything 
So do get in touch uh, with Olivia or myself and, and ask us those questions. Um, we, we, we're, we're very blessed to have some incredible guidance from some of the top scientists in the world. We, we, we have the, just the best, uh, most up-to-date information. Um, so if we are not able to answer those questions for you, we will be able to get answers from the experts and we can uh, filter those responses down to you and we can coach you and we can advise you on on what uh, what's going to be the best option for you to support your uh, microbiome in in your gut or to to help support your immune system at this time mm -hmm. and and as olivia was saying one of the most important things that we can do right now is to to take care of of, of our minds and maintain that and optimistic outlook um, and I know that we're both massive fans of meditation aren't we um, yes. I find that meditation really helps me to feel into my body to to understand if I am feeling anxious or stressed in any way and then it gives me incredible tools to be able to change how I'm feeling or to re respond in a better way um, and not just react or feel overwhelmed all the time uh, and I know that you and, and Johnny run uh, meditation groups normally in person people can drop in but you've taken these uh, you've taken this uh, meditation group online tell us a little bit more about that yeah so it's really exciting because we obviously can't meet anyone physically and we started to do the classes on zoom on Saturdays and we used to do just every uh, just two times a month but now we do it every Saturday because we feel that now is the time when people just need this Absolutely. and they they just need to relax they need to go inside because so many people are just they're freaking out they don't know what to do you know because everything outside seems to be kind of crashing down and and the only thing that doesn't crash down is our inner uh, self so the best way and best time now is to go inside and find that peace and that love and that calmness mm. within ourselves and so we keep those those uh, meditations every Saturday at 10 and I c maybe we can put the link afterwards it's really it's just, like a, just like a five pounds donation is really not even anything really it's just a little contribution sure. and the, we do it just because we feel how powerful it is when we all meditate together and, and we usually at, at this time, by the end of the meditation, we do a bit of visualization of sending light to the planet and sending love to the planet because the planet needs it. We all need it. Everyone is just like looking for something. And now when we have the time is the time to actually go inside and find that there. So Saturday mornings at 10 o'clock uh, via Zoom. Olivia, you are fantastic. You have such an, an amazing knowledge of, of uh, the body. And obviously, usually you support people physically. Um, but at the moment, you're able to support people with their nutritional well-being. And you're also providing such an awesome service um, by supporting people's emotional and spiritual growth and their well-being um, by uh, putting these classes on thank you so much i'm going to put all those links um on our pages and um, i'll pop it on uh, on the video as well so everyone can can find you uh, and just a, a, a don't a five pound donation to join what a, what a, is so, so cheap it's really really good and so valuable that's just such a great service thank you that's great um so i hope to join you on a saturday morning myself um yeah. it'd be absolutely wonderful i absolutely. Really love it and it's just also very at this time when a lot of us are isolated it feels so nourishing to be able to connect with other people like-minded and we we don't just tr jump straight into the meditation sometimes we just share how we've been doing and you know it's kind of a we are kind of helping each other to feel connected in these times when we can't really physically mm. connect but it does help a lot and even if it's on the screen um it's really powerful people report that it really helps them you know, it helps them the rest of the week to cope with life and to not be up and down with the you know with all the information we get bombarded with and so it's it's quite a valuable uh, invaluable uh, times now to do this yeah meditation relaxation yes. taking care of your mind laughter laughter, laughter yeah laughter um good 
uh, nutritional support for your microbiome, for your immune system, and uh, just a wealth of knowledge. Olivia, thank you so oh. much uh, for coming on today. I uh, really appreciate your you giving us this time. Thank you so much for coming on the show, and uh, come back on after all this is over and uh, tell us more about uh, the, the, the physical work that hopefully you'll be able to get back to soon yes well thank you so much Amanda it was lovely again you're such a lovely lady I'm oh, really happy to meet you, you. <laughs> <laughs> have an amazing rest of the week thank you. and uh, thank you for all your advice I'm sure my listeners are really appreciating hearing well, thank you all you guys for right now all right take thank care bye. Bye. Stay, stay, stay well bye